Okay, here we are. So, let's open this up here. See what we got. Easy. Get all the packing out of here. Okay, so. Darn packing. Alright. So, this is how it comes packed up here. This, I know. A hub. Uh, looks like a seven blade hub with all the mounting hardware, and it is sealed. The mounting hardware, let me get that out of the way. It's in its own separate little packaging, so it's very high quality packaging. You're not going to lose this stuff unless your box really gets mangled. And that's going to really mangle other things. But most of the time, shipping companies are pretty good with that. <laughs> so here is a 7 blade hub with the hardware. I don't know what this is. It's heavy. Oh, I know what this is. This is his new... Whoa! With locking collars and everything. This is the new PMG mount. Comes with locking collars. See that? Thermodyne needs to take a lesson. <laughs> uh, you know, locking collars are a must. Uh, properly you mean a hose clamp to hold your turbine on it's not good enough it rattles I mean the the mount will rattle on your pole if you just you have a hose clamp on the top it'll it'll rattle it does believe me I've tried it on <laughs> several times on different turbines locking collar you slide a locking collar on the bottom with the the uh, nylon ring, nylon washer, and one on the top with nylon washer, and it sits nice on your pole, doesn't rattle, much better. So yes, definitely locking collars are a must, and all the hardware in there, and it has a paper in there too. Let's get the paper out. What's that paper? Where the heck did my... Where is my razor knife? See, this is, happens every time. Okay. So. I'll use scissors. I'll probably lose these too. Seriously. Okay. Get that paper out. This is what I'm saying, you know, Missouri Wind and Solar stuff comes with everything you need. Anyway, all I want is to see what that paper is. <laughs> it's probably nothing, too. It's hard, hard work just to get to it. Just need a hole. Give me a hole. Alright. There we go. Got a hole. Open it up. Oh, looky there. Nice instructions to show how to mount it all or hook it all together. It was upside down. Nice little diagram there. Simple, easy. Of course, it's showing his old uh, PMA, but that's all right. I mean, if it's pretty simple, straightforward, nice. See, I knew there was a reason for that paper. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at this paper. Oh, man, I just bought these scissors too. See, they say Senior. That's the sewing machine company. It's supposed to be good scissors. Okay, yeah, see, it's 
not a Ziploc baggie. It's sealed up nice. Hardware's not going anywhere. Nylon locking watch or locking nuts. I mean, good stuff. I like the nylon locking nuts. That's what you sh I think should have on blade hubs and stuff. I like them better than those squished bolts or squish nuts. Those squish nuts end up messing up the threads. I've seen it happen before. Oh, and look at that. Decent instructions to show how to mount the blades. Good instructions. So, comes with the blade hub in the same package as the blade hub so you cannot you know go wrong when you're working with the blade hub and the blade hub hardware to mount your blades the instructions are right there just like they should be you don't have to go looking through a whole booklet of instructions anyway I'm taking too long here this here sends a rectifier. My thermodyne did not come with a rectifier. So, yep. It's a 90 amp. Just like the other ones I have. And then this is the thing everybody's been waiting for. I know. Where the heck did my razor knife go? Set it somewhere. Honestly, I cannot. There it is, man. This is. What I've been waiting for, man. This is awesome. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. Now that is awesome. I mean, <laughs> holy smokes. Nice. That's got some good weight to it there too. Man. This thing is going to be sweet. I mean, <laughs> now this this is this turns even better than that thermodyne, man. And they say that thermodyne is no cog, man. This thing is smooth. Holy smokes! Look at that. I could turn it and then let go, and it's still kind of coast just by the weight of the magnets themselves. Wow. That is smooth. That is awesome. This thing, I cannot wait to get this up on the roof. I mean, look, four mounting, you know, four bolts to mount it. It's going to be a lot stronger. I mean, when you got the blades hanging off of one side and the other side, and this thing whips in the wind, those blades are putting a lot of centrifugal force on the uh, the mounting bolts. And by adding four mounting bolts, that's going to make it so much stronger. Wow, that is cool. All right, clean this out. Now, whoops, geez. So he sent me out. There's three there. Four there. Raptors, man. Can't go wrong with the Raptors. Like we've already seen in several videos, mine and other people's, the Raptors are better at grabbing the wind power, grab torque from the wind. Now this here, I mean, I showed you before, my old Stars and Stripes tail there. This is the new, even better stars and stripes tail. You might be wondering, why is it even better? Well, I'll show you as soon as I can get the darn thing out of the 
packaging. Okay. Let's take this and flip it around. And I'll show you why it's even better. Ugh. Can you see the difference in the thickness of steel? It is probably twice as thick as the old Stars and Stripes tail. So, uh, Jeff saw a video, um, and he said, you know what? We're making them stronger, we're making them thicker. He didn't like that video. You see, this is what I did. I put that in there, strengthen it up, and that'll work. You know, that's the old one. That's inch and a half star foam that I just siliconed in there. <laughs> it works. But, uh, yeah. Stars and Stripes tail. New Stars and Stripes tail. Much heavier duty. This is going to, I mean, this thing's going to be able to handle some serious wind. And of course, in the same package, that is more instructions. I hardly ever read instructions. I mean, I've done enough of these now. Oh wow, look at that. It's got really nice instructions. This is a lot better than my uh, old 1600 watt instructions. So, wow. Tells you everything you need to know. Alright, so anyway. So that's, uh, that's it, you guys. This just another, this, you know, the thicker tail down there and a, another thicker arm piece. So, alright. Well, thanks for watching, you guys. I'm going to uh, get this stuff ready to paint and clean it up and stuff. I want to get this up on the roof as soon as possible and tear that thermodyne down because <laughs> this is going to be better. So, All right, talk to you guys later. This is awesome, you guys. I'm excited. Thanks, Jeff and Molly from Missouri Wind and Solar. You guys are awesome. <laughs>